Hello. Yeah, Hello. go ahead. Yes, scientists of today. I'm not knowing everything that there is to know about science yet, even though that they are working towards that. Who's to say that there is no God? Now, let me get you sure. I am on the fence with this up. Um, uh, I'm facing, uh, you know, I was born, you know, raised in a Christian family, but I uh, have friends that, you know, have showed me some things that have made me doubt my faith. But on the other hand, who's to say that there is not, if we have not proved all the science? Okay, so if the question is, who can say with absolute certainty that there is no God, the answer is no one. And it doesn't matter a bit because that's not where the burden of proof is. If the question is, who can say that there is no God based on a preponderance of evidence, if we're talking about, for example, strong atheism, I can. Okay. Um, it's, it's not a position that I, I often present or often try to defend because I don't have any need to. What the, the limit is, I do not believe a God exists, and that's as far as we have to go. Some people, like myself, take it a step further and would, would also believe that no gods exist. This isn't a position that I would assert with absolute certainty. I don't claim that it's proved. Um, I, mine is an entirely pragmatic argument that comes down to, there, as I see it right now, there's two possibilities. Either there is a God or there isn't. If there isn't, okay, then I'm, I'm right. But if there is, what, what, do we, what can we say? Well, evidently, we don't know anything about this God. It doesn't intervene. It doesn't show us anything about itself. All the claims about gods are unsubstantiated. There's no confirmation of miracles or anything else. There's no more evidence for this God thing than there, is, than there are for fairies or leprechauns. And so in much the same way that I feel justified in it's, saying there are no leprechauns, even though I don't assert that to absolute certainty either, I feel justified <laughs> in saying that there are no gods. And what, the thing is, is by, what most people mean by a god is the sort of thing that you would actually expect it to at least intervene to demonstrate its existence. I mean, we're, you know, we look at the Christian God, the Judeo-Christian God, um, and you're talking about somebody who for many years performed obvious miracles and demonstrations of power, you know, pillars of cloud and lights and walking on Came water and raising the dead and, and had talked to people. And, <laughs> and now, all of a sudden, when we get to the point where we can actually begin to investigate these claims, they kind of go away. And so... From my standpoint, I don't, I don't see, I believe that there are no gods. But the only thing that I need defend or need present, I guess, is that I do not believe that any claim for God has been justified by sufficient evidence for belief. And we've looked at a lot of them.